Last factor that we have learned is a catalyst. And do you still recall or not? Catalyst is interrelated with EA, activation energy. Activation energy. Saya dah ajar benda ni in detail. Lepas tu saya ajar kamu juga exothermic graph. Exothermic reaction eh. Kita dah belajar. Guys, hari ni saya nak ajar satu lagi graph. Okay, sekarang saya nak kamu lukis benda ini. Okay, dia macam ni tau. You are the A plus B become C plus D. Dia ni 30 kilojoule over mole. And dia become 50 kilojoule over mole. Okay, guys, lukis graph dia. Lukis graph dia. <coughs> Lukis graf dia. Hurry up. <coughs> mm. Lukis. If you still can recall, dia ada pak C Y is energy is a kilojoule over mole. Okay. 50 is somewhere dekat sini. 30 is somewhere dekat sini. This is your reactant, bahan. Ini adalah your product, hasil, reactant and product. Then also, you tengok eh. Sekarang ini reactant, ini product. Uh -huh. Macam mana nak buat EA? Macam mana nak buat EA? Dia akan pergi atas dan turun bawah. What is this? A plus B. And this is C plus D. Hmm. Okay. What is A plus B? Is your reactant, bahan. What is C plus D? Is your hasil, product. Okay. Very good. Guys. EA dia kat mana? Apa tu EA? Guys, I have teach you. Farah, Alia, ada tak kat sini? EA lah activation energy, betul. Apa, adalah apa maksud activation energy? Apa tu activation energy? What is activation energy? Tenaga minima, betul. Tenaga minimum. Untuk apa ni? Untuk menukarkan bahan kepada hasil. Bahan kepada hasil. Minimum energy needed to change the reactant to product. Jadi, bahankan dekat sini. Bahankan dekat sini. Hasil kat mana? Hasil kan dekat sini. Maka, dia punya EA adalah ini. This is your EA. This is your EA. Eh, guys, you tengok betul-betul ya. Graf ni kan, daripada 30, it become 50. 30 become 50. Tenaga dia naik ke turun. Is the energy going up or down? Up or down? Up or down? Up. Maksudnya, tenaga dia masuk. Maksudnya tenaga dia masuk. Berapa tenaga masuk? Berapa tenaga masuk? 20. Maka masuk. I have teach you yesterday. Masuk. In. In. Other word for in adalah enter. Very good. Enter. Apa yang masuk? Haba yang masuk. Maka dia haba adalah termik. Heat is termik. Maka ini adalah graf endothermic pandai korang inilah graf endothermic maksudnya haba masuk bila haba masuk graf dia naik atas ah faham 
Faham? Faham tak? Okay, very good. Okay, tapi kan guys, sebenarnya kan, this is not complete yet. This is not complete yet. Why am I say so eh? Okay, siapa nak screen capture buat sekarang? Okay, siapa nak buat? Hurry up. Okay. Okay, done eh? Korang tahu tak? Okay, saya padam. Saya padam. Okay, guys. Sekarang ni you look at here eh. You have a situation. A plus B give you C plus D. This is your reactant lah. Bahan. Reactant. This is your product. Hasil. Okay. Listen eh, guys. Kalau kita lukis graf dia, katakan ini adalah exothermic. Graf ni adalah exothermic. Jadi, you akan lukis. Guys, jangan risau value-value ni. Nanti dah form 5, baru kamu akan belajar pasal kira-kira. Okay? E uh, energy. This is your energy. Is kilojoule over mole. Then, listen guys. Exothermic kan? Graf dia sepatutnya turun bawah. Okay, guys. Like this. Mm-hmm. Going down like this. Very good. And, of course, eh, saya, saya tahu dah belajar. A plus B. And this is C plus D. Guys. Ha, dekat sini. This is what? This is what? This is what? This is what? Your EA. Apa tu EA? Activation energy. Iaitu... A minimum energy needed to change the reactant to product. A minimum energy needed to change the reactant to product. Guys, do you still remember or not? In the last class, I tell you, macam mana catalyst help in the reaction? Macam mana mungkin menolong dalam suatu tindak balas kimia? Tell me. Tell me. How? Faster, uh, um, memper, yes, yes, mempercepatkan. Jadi macam mana, macam mana? Ingat tak cerita Khalida tolong pakcik buta? Yes, save the energy. Very good. Save the energy. Maksudnya, this one, eh, guys, this one adalah without catalyst. Dia tak ada mungkin. Ha, sebab tu tenaga dia besar. Tapi sekarang guys, you are going to add catalyst. Bila you tambah catalyst, tenaga dia save. Save energy maksudnya lagi rendah. Betul ke salah? When you save energy, you have a lower peak. Yes or no? Betul. Maka you lukislah macam ini. Ini adalah your EA prime. Maksudnya apa? With catalyst. Jadi, yang ini rate of reaction dia rendah, yang ini rate of reaction dia tinggi. Faham ke tak? Faham ke tak? Hmm. Okay. Yes, very good. Eh? Save the picture. Okay, save the picture. Jadikan, guys, apa ayat nak cerita pasal situasi ini? Apa ayat nak cakap pasal situasi ini? Mari saya tulis ya. Macam mana mungkin menolong dalam keadaan tindak balas? Itu persoalan dia. Jadi, listen ya, guys. So, a catalyst. Saya akan baca dalam BM sekejap lagi ya. A catalyst is used. Mungkin digunakan, mungkin digunakan, kenapa? Dia orang mendapati catalyst, mungkin, 
catalyst provide provides an alternative alternative route which lower activation energy okay uh, mungkin memberi laluan alternatif dengan tenaga pengaktifan yang lebih rendah Catalyst provide an alternative route which lower the activation energy. Mungkin memberi laluan alternatif dengan tenaga pengaktifan yang lebih rendah. Bila dia lebih rendah, guys, apa jadi? <coughs> guys, do you still remember? Apa yang menyebabkan berlakunya reaction? I have told you. What is the main cause for the reaction? Tell me. Apa syarat utama untuk berlaku tindak balas? Cerita jeramia. Cerita jeramia. <coughs> Tell me. Kena tumbuk. Very good. Very good. Tumbuk ataupun collision. The higher the collision between the particle, the higher the rate of reaction. The more collision, the higher the rate of reaction. Faham? The higher the collision, the more collision, the higher the rate of reaction. Jadi, jadi apa yang berlaku tau? Bila sekarang ni, you have a catalyst, tenaga dia lagi rendah, lagi senang lah dia berlanggar. Eh, langgar apa ni? Ah? Langgar apa? Langgar antara zara-zara. Okay? Collision between. Okay. Between. Between what? Between the particles. Uh-huh. Uh, collision between the particle. <coughs> collision between the particle. Jadi apa berlaku? Bila lagi banyak dia langgar, the collision increases. Okay, collision increases. The rate of reaction increases too. Nanti saya bagi latihan juga. InsyaAllah sempat ni buat latihan nanti. Faham? Faham? Okay, siapa nak screen capture buat sekarang? Okay, done. Okay. Sepadam ya, anak-anak. Okay. Guys, basically, you done with the catalyst part. Done. Done. Ini je yang kena tahu pas untuk form 4. So, what is the last factors that affect the rate of reaction? Tell me. What is the last factor? Pressure. Very good. Very good. Pressure. Okay? So, I'm going to continue with pressure. Eh? 